Hi everyone, I am Gillian and welcome to my channel. Today I'm filming a grocery haul that is vegan and healthy. There's a couple of bits that aren't healthy but overall it's pretty healthy and um, it will tie in if you're following Slimming World as well as I am. So the shops are Aldi primarily and then I had to nip to both Morrisons and Asda to get a couple of things that Aldi didn't have and then I think it was I went to Morrison's and they never had something so I had to go to Asda. A little mixture of three supermarkets but I'll not ramble on anymore so if you enjoy this video please don't forget to give me a wee thumbs up and subscribe down below it would mean a lot to me and yeah let's get on with the grocery haul. So here it is in all its glory. <laughs> um, I'll start from left to right first. So Please ignore my soup maker and popcorn maker that I got for Christmas. I've yet to find a space for it in the kitchen. I need to do a little clear out of my cupboard, so that's why that's sitting there. But the first unhealthy kind of thing is from Aldi. So there's a wee can of Prosecco and also a bottle of strawberry and lime cider. These taste the same as the Copperberg version but they are vegan and cheaper but I did hear that Copperberg are bringing out vegan stuff so that's really good because Copperberg one of my favourites or it was. So strawberry and lime cider, little can of Prosecco and then more healthy things over here. I have a recipe for minestrone soup so part of that was the little pasta shells um, I'm not going to embarrass myself to try and pronounce that, but it's the little tiny shell pastas. Also wanted to make some lentil soup, get good use out of my Christmas soup maker. Um, oh, did I, for I forgot to mention this is just for New Year, because Ryan and I, my fiancé, are just staying in the house, so I decided I wanted a couple of these to drink um, tomorrow night, so that's all that is. Um, yeah, wanted to make lentil soup as well and I had run out of lentils so I bought those. Over here we've got two packs of the New York soft seeded bagel thins. These were a Morrison's find and they count, one counts as a health extra B and they were reduced to 80 pence so I got a couple of packets because I was going to say I was going to freeze one but I have been using up quite a lot of bagels recently so I might not have to freeze it before I end up using it up. In front of the bagels we've got a bunch of bananas, self-explanatory, and then I've got a big massive jar of the Sun Pack Crunchy Peanut Butter. This was reduced to £2 something I think, that was in Morrison's. My favourite combination recently has been toasted bagel, peanut butter and banana on top, it is amazing. I'll do these front things first, so I actually made a salted caramel cheesecake for New Year and I needed a few tubs of the Asda soft cheese so this has been opened but I still wanted to show you it because it's a really good um, cream cheese it's one of my favourite ones I feel like it's more flavourful than Violife so is that the right word Violife? I think it is I get mixed up with that in Vitalite butter and it's cheaper than Violife as well and bigger so Asda well done on your cream cheese uh, the next thing is to go on top of the cheesecake, which is the Elmley Plant Double Cream Alternative. In fact, I'll actually show you the cheesecake just now because it was fucking amazing. I feel like it tastes better than it looks, but it is so good. You would never know it was vegan as well. I used the... I've chucked out the tin now, but it's the Carnation's vegan version of their condensed milk that is in the cheesecake and part of the salted caramel sauce on top and then it's lotus biscoff biscuits at the bottom melted with butter so and Ryan doesn't like cheesecake so I get it all to myself I'm just kidding I need to I really could eat it all but I'm not going to I'm gonna cut some up and give it to my mum and dad and my granny but yeah I just wanted to show you my little creation so anyway back to the healthy food um, so at the back here I've got some rice vinegar that's for a crispy tofu stir fry dish. I needed more vegan mayo so I got a tube of that. I heard that they're coming out with vegan salad cream as well so you know I'm going to have to buy it and try it in January. I'm so excited for all the products in Veganuary. 
I got another milk. This is my favourite milk or the hazelnut milk. It's just soy and no sugar. Oh, I also love oat milk as well. I forgot about that. Got a tin of cannellini beans. That's for to go in the minestrone soup to just give it a bit of protein. Uh, I got a bag of easy peelers from Aldi. They were really cheap and I really like how sweet they are at the moment. They're a good snack. Over here I've got some I've got two cucumbers and that is because I bought this hummus. It's from Asda, 30% less fat, red pepper and chilli hummus. I've not tried it yet but it sounded good so I've got cucumbers to dip into it. I've also got some carrots over there to dip in but I'll show you in a minute. I have three packs of tofu. These are not the brand I usually buy but it's very convenient that I don't need to press them like the cauldron ones. So for some reason I thought I didn't like the texture as much but I think I was just imagining that because it tastes the exact same. But it's just handier to not have to press the tofu so that's why I bought a few of these. Then over here I've got two Alpro yogurts. These are my two favourite flavours, the vanilla and the strawberry. I think it's only four sins for the whole pot for each of those and I never eat a full pot at one time so it works out quite well sin wise. And then I'll just head back here to show you the Savoy cabbage, that's for in my minestrone soup. I've been given a little bit to the rabbits if it looks a bit ripped there and there that's why. Morrison's I bought sage and onion deli slices, these are really nice, one of my favourites and I think it's two sins for the whole pack or is it three? I'll write it in, I can't remember, I'll put it down here. Um, I can't remember but it's not that bad when you see how many slices you get because it lasts a long time so I thought that would go nice in a bagel just as a lunch option. Then here I've got Scottish leeks, they only had the option for four and they're small ones but I still don't know what I'm going to do with four leeks but I wanted to make the potato cheese and leek dish that I had spoke about a few weeks ago and someone had asked me to do a video on how to make it so that's why I got these. They are slightly out of date now but they'll be fine. Um, I could also stick it in my soup I suppose, that's an option. I don't know what else I could do with leeks maybe. I could chop it up and freeze it, we'll see. Over here I got three peppers, they came in a pack but I've took took them out. Uh, these are again for the minestrone soup but it's good to add to different pasta dishes or I was wanting to make like a red pepper sauce so it could be used for that. Then up here I've got some spring onions, they uh, are for the stir fry. A pack of parsnips, I've been loving roasted parsnips recently after Christmas, they're just amazing so I got a pack of those and then also a pack of carrots that I can roast or dip into hummus uh, and the bunnies also like them so plenty of options for my carrots and they've got the little Kevin the carrot cartoon on them, they're so cute. I know it's not healthy but I got two packs of Monster because I have a problem and that is something I need to address but not right now. <laughs> I'm too addicted to the caffeine. But anyway, I also got some broccoli. I'm going to add it to the leek and potato dish uh, that I spoke about a minute ago. Over here we've got some herbs. So I got a pack of coriander for the rabbits. If you have watched any of my previous grocery hauls you will know that I can't stand coriander. It tastes like soap. Uh, but the rabbits absolutely love it so I always get a pack. And Aldi do them a lot cheaper than any other supermarket. But I did get herbs for myself. In my, I think it's the soup, it needed rosemary. also needed thyme and I don't know why I never bought it. Maybe I've got some dried thyme I can use instead, but I wanted the fresh stuff for rosemary. Then I got some button mushrooms. These are just good for like tofu scramble to add in some extra speed or I could add it to the stir fry. There's lots of options. I've got some mince in the freezer that I could make a bolognese with. So yeah, always handy to have mushrooms. And this little packet's open because I just gave the rabbits one each because they absolutely love Monge too. 
So I got that for my stir fry as well. I got salad tomatoes. I've not, I feel like I've not had any salady bits for a while because I've been mainly focusing on like wintery type dishes but I really fancied like a sandwich with lettuce, tomato, cucumber and these with a little bit of the mayonnaise so that's why I bought them. I don't know if I'll be able to use them all up but again I can chuck them into different dishes and bulk it out a bit. And then the last item I got is these two absolutely massive romaine lettuces. I'm going to need the rabbit's help with these. It's so much lettuce but I really like romaine lettuce. It's one of my favourites so I'm sure I'll be able to use it up. No problem. And that is everything. I think a lot of the stuff I needed was fresh produce so yeah a lot healthier than my usual staple items but apart from a couple of things in that corner. But overall that is my healthy grocery haul. Thank you so much for watching my grocery haul. If you enjoyed it, again, please don't forget to give me a wee thumbs up and subscribe down below. And I will see you guys in my next video and I hope you have a very, very happy new year. Bye. I was never the one to write up a